Hey everyone, just want to do a quick review of Atomic Liquid Chalk. So you can see I have none on my hands at this point. But it's kind of an interesting product, so you put just a small amount, a little dollop there on your hands, and then you rub it together, and you give it about, I don't know, 20 or 40 seconds, and it starts drying out. It's pretty crazy. You can see, you'll actually see my hands start turning white like that, chalk them up. But great product, very little mess, and it gives you a super good grip. So you can see now it looks like my hands are completely chalked up, even though all I did was rub the liquid chalk on there. So this is actually the sweatshirt I wore training all day yesterday with this stuff. And you can see there's very little chalk on it. So dries out super quick. See them. It's got very little mess, so. If anyone tries to use chalk in a gym where you're not allowed to use chalk, you can probably get away with this stuff. And then on top of that, it's gonna leave most of your equipment, you know, chalk free and leave very little mess in your clothes. So, great grip though. You know, swivel over yeah. real quick to one, uh, one of these peg things here. These are super hard to grab unless your hands are chalked up. So you can see, I have much better grip down. And I can actually do multiple pull-ups as opposed to being able to just do one or two. So yeah, I highly recommend liquid chalk. Um, obviously you can't use it in most races, but the good thing about it is you can push your envelope of your training, right? So if there's a specific hold you're having trouble with, you throw some chalk on there and get used to doing the movement, get used to doing that training. It allows you to push yourself to the next level and then eventually reduce your reliance on chalk. And then if you're a ninja competitor, like some of the athletes on our team, Michelle Warnke, Jay Flores, Amy Padgett, stuff like that, you can actually use it in competition. So yeah, check it out. We'll see you later.